Welcome back. Stuck outside a shipyard halfway across the globe with no idea of when she'll be able to return home. Four months. Yep, Madeline Wolchko, a graduate of Vallejo's Maritime Academy, was stuck on board a container ship in the water near Shanghai. Here's digital journalist Abby Fernandez with how it happened and where Madeline and the rest of the crew are now. Mariners are huge in the global supply chain. Uh, if it wasn't for us, uh, ships wouldn't move. We know the world is facing supply chain issues right now because of the ongoing pandemic. We're personally affected when we're at the store and can't find the products we need. What we might not know, though, is that the crews on these container ships that bring us all of our products also feel the weight of the pandemic out at sea when COVID keeps them stuck in the water. Like Mariner Madeline Wolschko, who left from Oakland in January and has been stuck on a cargo ship in Shanghai for over 200 days. She was supposed to be back mid-March, but China went on lockdown while her ship was out there. And that meant none of the crew was allowed to disembark, not even dockside. To stay sane and have something to look forward to, as Madeline puts it herself, she and the others decided to document the experience online, posting vlog-like videos on YouTube to show people what they're going through. Shipyard's cutting off our cooling line for the generator, so we're having a ship blackout right now. They're all on the dock eating right now. Nobody's paying attention. Madeline is still out at sea. We couldn't communicate live, so I sent her pre-recorded questions to talk with her. She says it's been a mental battle not knowing when she'll be back in the U.S. So at this point, you know, it's kind of, we've all kind of desensitized and numbed ourselves to, uh, to counteract uh, the fact that we don't know. Despite going through this overwhelming experience, Madeline says it won't stop her from getting on another container ship again. Says it's her job and she feels by doing it, she's contributing to the world. Navigating a giant container ship from point A to point B anywhere in the world is one of the coolest things <laughs> to me that a person can do. Yeah, that's very impressive. All right, Abby joins us live now. I have to say, that is crazy that she's been on that ship for so long. When does she get to come back to the United States? Yeah, hey, Jess. So the ship has two more port stops, at least is what she tells me. Madeline is hoping they'll be back by the end of the month. I do want to let you know she's actually telling me some of the crew has been on board for nine months, Jess, which is super unusual. She says at most they're out there for four to six months. Madeline also, by the way, says she'll probably probably sob when she finally gets back home. As well, her, yeah, well, her mom and, and, and dad for sure. So I know that she signed up to be like out at sea, but stuck on the ship. You mean not being able to get off of it at all. Did she get depressed? I mean, I think that would be really psychologically difficult. Is that why she started the channel? Yeah, well, she says, I mean, it was a mental battle for yeah. them, for her and for the other crews, about 30 other members on board there. It's been so hard, and that's why she says she started to, well, her and them started to sort of document the experience so they can not only stay sane out there, but also showcase to others what they're living through. This is something that we, like you're, you're even noticing right now, we don't know this. No. And we don't know what they go through. So it's really important for her and the other guys on there to showcase what they're all going through right now. You're 100% right. I don't think I've ever given a second thought as to what it was like to bring those cargo ships in and the people living on there. And that is like an eye opener. So thanks for bringing us that story. And let's get Madeline home, right? Let's, let, let's start a campaign. Her bring her home. Bring her home. All right. Thanks, Abby.